Part 2. The rich popular girl rejected me, but ended up marrying me in the end. I quickly turned away, then wanted to take another look to see if it was actually Ava. I turned around again to catch a glimpse, and it was indeed her. She still looked as beautiful as ever, and all the feelings I had back in high school came rushing back to me. I wondered if she was still the same Ava from high school, or if she had changed. I was curious, and throughout class, all I could think about was whether I should talk to her or not. I decided why not. So I went ahead and talked to her. I think I startled her a little because she thought I was just a random guy. She looked at me closely, realized it was me, and smiled. We started with small talk, eventually discussing our majors and future plans. It was ironic how our plans for the future aligned. I knew the conversation would eventually fizzle out, so I went ahead and asked if she was doing anything after class. She told me her next class started in a couple of hours, so she would probably be at the school union doing homework and eating lunch. Nervously, I asked if she wanted company after class, and she said sure. We started talking more and more, eventually visiting each other's houses to study. She became my best friend, and I became hers. As much as I wanted to ask her out again, my pride wouldn't let me. I knew that if anything were to happen, she would have to make it official. After a few months, we decided to eat out at one of our favorite restaurants near campus. We ordered our usuals and sat next to each other. Afterward, she looked at me and said, So are you going to make a move? I was startled and started smiling. I joked, Why do I have to make the move? She smiled back, grabbed my hand, and asked, There, is that enough? She was blushing. At this point, I was freaking out, and my face probably looked like a tomato. But like any regular guy, I played it cool and kept calm. I held her hand tighter and said yes. We left the restaurant holding hands and laughing together. Then I brought up high school and asked her what had happened. She looked at me and apologized. She told me she had feelings for me back then, but couldn't date anyone because of how strict her parents were with school and their expectations for her to become a doctor. She said she had to prioritize school and couldn't let any distractions get in the way. I smiled, finally getting the closure I needed to let go of the past. I wanted to focus on the present and my new relationship with Ava. Years passed, and eventually, we both got into med school together, where we became doctors. Those years were tough, and I accumulated a lot of debt. Well, at least I did. My parents gave me the biggest hug after graduation, and my mom was excited that she could finally brag to her Asian friends that her son and daughter-in-law were doctors. After a couple of years, I proposed to Ava, and she gave me two beautiful children. Ava and I have been happily together ever since, and we recently went on vacation to the Philippines, 